We're, we're starting to click. I mean, if you look at the way um, our attack is now, when you've got players like Ali Moussi, Oje Escalante, um, Joe Mason, John Agnell, they're, they're exciting going forward and as exciting a front line as, as I think we've ever had. And I still think they can be better. And behind that now, you've uh, Elliot Simmons has come back in the side and he kind of gives us that little you know, insurance as the, as the base of our midfield and protection in front of our back four who are doing a terrific job in front of Marco. A first half hour, you guys had all the possession, all the chances. Did you get a sense that the goal was coming? It was just a matter of time. We did, because we had a few half chances, um, you know, having been up here, you know, to watch them against Pacific. We knew they were going to be tough to break down and we had to be patient, find pockets. And we knew after we had the second goal that they were going to throw something at us because they had caution to wind. And it was a case of just being able to suffer when we had to and uh, punish them, which we did. Uh, and I would like to have uh, had it a bit earlier in the second half, but no, I'm, I'm delighted with the lads. Um, the second goal should have been from the penalty spot. I don't know if you guys got a good look at the foul, but can you just talk about that free kick? You, you scored it anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter in the end, but uh, can you just give me your thoughts on that free kick? Yes, and, uh, Ali Moosey's having a terrific time right now, and uh, his first comments to me just said he was disappointed he didn't get a hat-trick today, but, you know, <laughs> as we've seen, you know, I think the referees are trying to do their best and call what they see. I don't think he thought it was outside at the... It was inside. I saw it. Everyone else saw it. He didn't, and he's the main man. So we, we had to play to the whistle. We took the free kick instead, and that just shows the character that we're, we're trying to change as a culture and uh, just play, play the bounces that you get, and uh, it was a great free kick. All right. Thanks, Tommy. Appreciate that. All right. Next to Alexander. Hey, Tommy. hope you're well. Uh, my connection is a bit dodgy, so apologies if I do cut out, but congrats on the victory. Just first one for me, uh, Victor Latouri, Ali Moussi, Elliot Simmons, they, were, they ran rampant in the, the midfield today. What was the key to their success uh, as part of a, a new look back four? Yeah, do you know, we worked on a few things, knowing that, that it'd be a 5-4-1 block. We knew that movements and playing off the shoulder was going to be important. And then when we had the penetrating pass, whether it came from Mason Trafford or Fraser or Bradley uh, Fleet, we thought um, they could turn. Victor's got quick hips, so is Ali Moosey. And as soon as they, they turned, now it was a 5v5. And I fancy our guys, you know, run at them. And I mean, that one that Ali's gone through about three or four guys could have been goal of season contender. But uh, yeah, no, it was, a, it, was, it, was a, it was a good strategy. The boys stuck to the game plan. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them. And then just kind of following up maybe on uh, the not so positive side, obviously you got a bunch more yellow card today. It continues to be an issue so far this season. Obviously your team wants to play with aggression, but uh, yellow card accumulation might start to become a worry. How do you balance that going forward? Yeah, it's a funny one because I think some of them, uh, I don't know if it's just us and we've got this reputation that is talked about, but so I'm going to have to review them again. Uh, some of them that we can control, right? Um, and it's controlled aggression we talk about. But other ones, I, I don't know. I, I think Bradley Fleet's first one, I think he was literally scooping it back to where the foul uh, took place. Uh, Marco Carducci's one, we're waiting for a substitution and the fourth official is getting ready to talk to him. So Marco's waiting. He's not time wasting. So I think there's a, there's a room for error there as well. But you know, we can only control what the referees call. And right now they're, they're, they're dishing out cards for us. So we've got to accept it and we've got to try and change that. Awesome. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks. Mateus. Mateus. Hey, Tommy. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Just a couple of words about the second half. Uh, maybe you give up the, the, the position or it was um, and then I will, and one done job. Oh, listen, I've got to give Edmonton credit. You know, 2 is a funny scoreline. We played it with Pacific last week. It kind of gives that team a hope that one goal in, uh, you know, can turn around. But fortunately, we were resolute. We had to do the ugly stuff because it was windy here and it is tough. Even, you know, we were with the wind, so you've you, you got to keep it under control. They had it and they were, they were playing. So credit to them. They came out with a fight. They changed their formation, went more to a 4-4-2, four, 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 put an extra man forward. You know, Tobias Wojcicki is a handful and then he had players playing off him. I thought their midfield started to play more physical and direct. And, you know, like I said, we then had to adapt a little bit. So tactically, we put Dan Klomp and Fiske on um, to give us just an extra number behind the ball, just to weather it a little bit, because we knew with the pace, whether it's Moosey, Maya Bevan or, or uh, Arab and Pepper, we knew we could catch them um, because they'd leave themselves open. And we did. Um, but, yeah, it was, uh, it was just 
it's one of those games. You, you sometimes in this league you have to suffer a little bit, and we did it with uh, with, with with good uh, spirit. I thought we did well today. Uh, great team performance. Uh, it's just been uh, a case of uh, hard work. You know, we've been a lot of hard work in training, and and uh, the guys. I think the whole team deserved this win. Uh, and uh, your goal, it should have been a penalty, but uh, you take the free kick and uh, put it in the back of the Just Can you talk us through what you, what you saw there, I guess, throughout the whole play that when it, when it didn't wasn't a penalty and then you kind of have to refocus and take the free kick? Yeah, I thought it was a penalty first. Uh, it looked like it was inside the box, but the uh, uh, referee deemed it was a penalty, a uh, free kick. So me and uh, Jose Escalante, we had a look, and I was just feeling it. I just went for it. Perfect. Appreciate that. Thanks for your time. Uh, Moses. Thanks there. Uh, I, again, uh, another strong performance, uh, continuing to uh, build Ali, just kind of take me through and, and just uh, a, a quick response to the last question too. Uh, what did you see from the keeper? Because you, you seem to take it from the, the near post. Was that, was that your intent the whole time or was there, you know, a little bit of a, a little of a guessing game just to see like where he was, that sort of thing? Yeah, no, the whole time I planned to go near post. Um, it was a tall wall, to be fair, so I had to hit it quite well, and I felt like I hit it good enough with the, enough pace for the keeper not to react in time. And just this uh, strong run of form, uh, you couldn't do it any better. I know you're, you you had family up in the Edmonton area. I imagine they were there to watch, and, and you put on a performance. Yeah, no, I'm happy with the way I'm starting the season. You know, I've been patient. Uh, last year, it was unfortunate. I was injured for a long period of time. But I came back with a lot of hunger and to do it in front of family and, and to score a goal and to get a win, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. And just the final one for me, just on that note, um, was there any family members or anybody else out there that, uh, that kind of, I don't know if you necessarily play for, but just, uh, you know, you seem like a, a guy who's very grounded, family ma a family guy, just kind of take me through, uh, are there those in the, in the stands that you were kind of like, I'm going to get a goal for them and see what happens, that sort of thing. Yeah, my little brother was there today, so, you know, if I was to dedicate anything, I would dedicate that goal to him. Um, yeah, I had some really close friends there as well, so it's really nice to uh, score and uh, get a win in front of them, for sure. Thanks a lot, Ali. Appreciate it, and uh, keep the train going with the goals, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alexander? Hey, Ali, uh, just one for me. Congrats, obviously, on the goal and the win. I just wanted to ask you about what it was like playing with Elliot. Uh, and Victor today in the, in the midfield tree. You guys seem to have great understanding and uh, it allowed you to pick uh, what has been a solid Edmonton midfield block, especially at home. Yeah, I think they just make my job easier, really. They're very good players, quality on the ball, and they're very organized as well. So they organize me defensively and allow me to uh, attack and find me in pockets. Uh, I, thought they were, I thought they played very well today. Cavalry deserves to win the game. Uh, I think they, uh, over the course of the 90 minutes, were the, the better team. Uh, I think they came out with more intensity than we came out with. Uh, and in a derby, as young as we are, uh, you have to come out with that intensity. You have to be ready to play from the first minute until the last minute. And I was pleased with our response in the second half. We challenged the guys a little bit at a half time. We got a positive response, uh, but that obviously doesn't impact uh, the results tonight. Yeah, what, what, what changed? Was it just effort or did you guys change something else in the second half? Because you guys had the ball more, you created more chances. And with a bit of luck, you would have probably worked your way back in that game. Yeah, we deserve to get something out of the second 45 minutes. I thought we were probably the better team in the second 45 minutes. But the game's over 90-plus minutes. Uh, so Cavalry obviously got most of the work done that they needed to in the first 45 minutes. Uh, to be honest, I think it a little bit, might have been a little bit of naivety. Uh, we're young. Uh, a lot of the guys don't really know what it's like to play in a game like this. Uh, Cavalry have all sorts of experience all over the place. Uh, the most experienced player that we could have had out tonight would have been Fraser Ed if we were still able to, to keep him. Um, but that one hurts a little bit, to be quite honest, because we're playing against a lot of teams where players that were part of our project and wanted to stay, uh, and we wanted them to stay, are, are not able to stay. Uh, but that's that's just what we have to deal with. Now, they, they, they haven't gotten off to a good start, so do you, do you anticipate that they were going to come in pretty hungry? And like you said, they do have a veteran team, and, and they, I guess... You must have not taken you by surprise the way they started the game today because they're no, they're pretty not, not, not at all. They're, they're a top team. Same goes for Forge, too. Uh, Cavalry, Forge, and Pacific are the three clubs, they're the three big teams in this league. They're the ones with the most resources, most support, everything. Uh, and you may have a slow start. Uh, Cavalry, 
stumbled a little bit in the first few games, but you could see tonight they're a quality team. Uh, they're going to be right at the top by the end of the season. Appreciate that. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Derek. Alexander. Hey, Alan. I hope you're well. Just one for, for me, uh, Toby Warshowski. Uh, he continues to be a, a force in games, even sometimes he might not always get the touches that he wants. He created a bunch of chances today. How important has it been having him on, on your team? And, and how important do you think he'll be as you, your team continues to, to find their legs? Honestly, the second 45 minutes, the performance, uh, you don't really get anything out of it because we're losing 2 nothing. We just said that to the players in the locker room. They, they feel a little bit better about themselves that they possess the ball a little bit more. But the reason they possessed it is because Cavalry allowed them to possess it. Uh, and you mentioned Toby, but that goes for all the guys that got on the ball. They, they all collectively put us uh, in a hole to start off with. Um, so, yeah, it's nice and pleasing to see a response in the second half and try to get on the ball. Uh, but Cavalry allowed us to do that. Um, so we take nothing out of that from that perspective. Toby's a good player. We have several good players. They all have to play for 90 plus minutes uh, to give us a chance to win. We're a, we're a team that's at the bottom. We, we know who we are. We know what we're about. Every single player in our group needs to be ready to play with them without the ball for 90 plus minutes if we're going to give ourselves a chance to get any points this year. Awesome. Um, I feel like uh, the first half wasn't, wasn't, wasn't really our best half in the past couple of games and uh, we kind of made a few mistakes. Uh, but the second half, we kind of picked it up. We uh, tried to get back into the game. Um, a lot of guys had some good opportunities. We were defending well. It's just, we just have to keep pushing. That's it. Just got to keep pushing. The team. Was it, was it, sorry, was this just a matter of, of taking some pride and saying, hey, we're better than this in the second half or what changed in the second half for you guys? It's that's always the case. I mean, if you're down to nothing or one nothing, you always got to put your pride as a team and, and kind of push forward and and um, look to look to try and give in a better effort for your for your fans, for your for your teammates, for your coaches, everybody. And how are you seeing? Uh, I know you guys haven't had a time, a lot of time to work together, but it, it does seem that you guys are starting to develop a, a chemistry and a rapport with each other. I guess is that just something that it's going to take time and you're just going to need more games to kind of really get to know each other better. Yeah, it, it will take a little bit of time, but we're, we're, we're gelling a lot more than, than we were at the start. And I mean, um, like you'll see, you'll see like a lot of guys like do big things this year. And I, 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 I completely believe in this group that, that we'll, we'll come together and we'll, we'll, we'll be the surprise group in the, in the CPO too.